come in the front door, it's your entrance. You have a stained grade staircase going upstairs. To your left is an archway. To your dining room, which is my temporary office. Tray ceiling. And an archway into the kitchen area. If we continue in the front hallway, so we have a under the staircase, there's a half bath. So kind of hard to see, but there's a half bath here under the stairs. And then continue into the great room. And got 20 some odd foot ceilings. Doors going outside to a patio, which I'll show you later. And there's two windows in the corner that we added. And that's the seat bench I was telling you. This is more of like a dinette area. Off the kitchen. So we put in this custom seat bench and those drawers do open up for storage. Which I'll try to show you here. But all three do open up for storage. And then the kitchen is here. And we did a upgraded faucet with a pull down sprayer. Kenmore appliances, they are upgraded so the dishwasher is all stainless inside, not white like the standard builder grade. It's like a, an almond color cabinet, I guess you can call it. It's a five burner gas stove and it's a convection oven. And there's a pantry, there's a light in there. A pantry right in the corner. And a refrigerator would go right here. So if I come in here by the dining room, another shot of it by the way. But I turn around, you can kind of see how the the kitchen lays out with the granite. You have five inch flooring, wood flooring. It's engineered wood. So that's your great room. And also, by the way, a little side note on this wall, we set it up for a flat screen TV so you have your phone or your cable jack up there with an outlet. And there's a, a, uh, another outlet. That's a chase tube. They forgot to put the one up top here, but that's so you can pull wiring down to the bottom if you wanted to. So I'm going to get a shot of the house, if you will. And then up top, it's an open loft area. Which I'll show you. But, so if you come in the entrance and you make a right, you come to the master bedroom is here and there's a linen closet right outside the master. I've got my storage stuff right now, but or it's just a closet actually, like a coat closet if you will. Not linen. The other side of that is the laundry room. And your recess dryer hookup. So there's that. So if you come into the master bedroom, tray ceiling again, two windows. That 8 inch base molding is throughout. So if you come into the right, there is a walk in closet here. And then opposite side of the room is another walk in closet. So it's got his and hers, if you will. That comes in, and this one kind of goes that way. So it's kind of deep. Kind of hard to see on video, but okay. There's your master, and then in the master shower or bathroom, we did raised height vanities and a different color cabinet with a glazing on it, and it's got a bunch of you know pull out small drawers as well. Again, the brush nipple plumbing package. 
and opposite that is the tile shower. It's a five foot shower um, with a transom window over the top. So there's your five foot shower and then you have a linen closet inside because if you delete the tub, this is normally the shower area, but you've got a nice linen closet now inside the bathroom. And opposite that, spin around, is your water closet. So that's that. Okay. Another shower to master. And there should be dimensions of each of these rooms in the packet that I gave you for the Pinehurst. If not, let me know and I will get them for you. So we're going to go back out. Front door. And we're going to walk the stairs here. Sorry, a videographer, I am not. So, you come upstairs, you have a landing. I call it a round robin. If you look here, here's that loft area, so you're looking down now into your great room. That way. Up and down. Kitchen, there's that beautiful bench. So if I came up the stairs and make a left, I've got a bedroom here. A very nice sized bedroom. That overlooks the front of the property, which a little view of the court in a cul-de-sac. They're replacing some concrete work because one of my trucks drove on the concrete and broke them, so they're doing that today. So anyway, um, here's that bedroom, and you've got double doors for your closet. That open up, and nice size closet. If I come back out in the hallway. To my left is a full bathroom. Notice too, instead of using knobs, we use the uh, lever door handles throughout, and the brush knuckle plumbing package throughout. So that's your bathroom there. Then I come up diagonally across the staircase. Over here is another full bathroom. Nice long vanity. Big bathrooms though. Then next to that is another bedroom. Bedroom three. Nice size again. That's overlooking the back of the house. And again, nice big double doors. Another big closet. While I'm up here, if you look out, there's the backyard. Okay. That was kind of hard to see. But you can see the road back there. But those are the bushes here that I put so on the bottom floor you can see them better. And we spent about $4,000 on shrubs. I'll get you more of that outside later. Okay, come back out. Make a left. And this is the smaller of the four bedrooms. Overlooks the side of the house. And again, a nice big walk in closet. But a nice bedroom as well. And then you come back out. And on the side of the staircase is the game room. And this is a beautiful big room. One thing I didn't tell you is normally at 3029 for the base price, you wouldn't have that bump out. This is a different elevation, which was another thirty five hundred dollars. So actually this house is probably more along like a three oh six price as a base. But you've got this bump out making the room bigger, this game room bigger. And again, this overlooks the front of the house. 
so this is the game room well whatever you'd like it to be so that gives you four bedrooms three and a half baths plus your game room now I'm going to run outside here And there's the house on the outside. If you can see it, okay. Really bright out, beautiful day here. But right. the neighbor next door. There's an easement there. There's another house next door to you here. So this is that. I'll come around the side of the house here. It's nice too to get a front porch. One of the few houses we build with front porches. So you'll be able to see that. I hope a side shot, but front porch and then side of the house. Obviously, your landscaping. It's got a full irrigation system as well. Come around to the back of the house here. And the road is back there. It's probably about 50 or 60 feet, 50 feet beyond the property line. But here's the back of the house. And there's the patio. And these are all the trees that we put along the back of the house here. Come around this side of the house. We get you two Bryant HVAC units. Irrigation system. The little tan box, that's your Tayx pest control system where the I was telling you about the pest controls inside the wall of the house. And that's your Renai tankless hot water heater, natural gas. And there's your gas meter, electric meter. And there we have it. So I hope that kind of gives you a good perspective of what the house looks like. And again, there are those trees all the way across. Again, I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know.